Good afternoon. I um, I just wanted to cover off something to help me remember today. As we can see, I've got my uh, V Center on my home lab here running, and I've got Hyper V. And what I want to do uh, is I want to move my Alice, my VM, which is my uh, primary domain controller and DNS, and I want to actually move it over to Hyper V. So I'm going to use V. I'm going to do an instant recovery, and then uh, promote it to production, and it'll show how quickly and easily you can utilize Veeam data platform to do that this <clears throat> so let's load up my Veeam backup application server I've already got a backup of my um, it's my infrastructure backup of Alice so I go to disk infrastructure backup one I've got Alice here I right click I want to do instant recovery to Hyper V there's my VM there's only one in that backup job so it's all good I want to choose my target host, my Hyper-V host, which I've already got as a configured um, server in my backup infrastructure. I want to choose where the uh, config and VMDK file are going to go. So on my Hyper-V host, Julius, I'm just going to go Hyper-V, VHDs, Alice and configuration files I've created a folder for Alice as well and next on there I'm going to map my network so on VMware it was uh, we've got this um, distributed VNIC on Hyper-V I'm just going to use my prod LAN network I'm going to preserve the UUID I'm not going to scan on this instance, but if we wanted to, we could scan uh, using antivirus or Yara rules to make sure that our instant recovery is clean of ransomware. Just put some reason in migration to Hyper V. And whether we want to power it on or not after restoring. So I'm going to finish that. Or we'll let it run for a minute. Restoring started as we can see. It's just modifying the guest OS settings. Just can check IPv, I can see that. Uh, VM starting to appear in there now, which is great. And we can see VM is published successfully, awaiting user action. So if I close that down now in my instant recovery, we can see we've got Alice. We can see that it is there but powered off. So what I'm going to do back onto my vCenter, I'm going to actually shut that down on the vCenter side because we kept the UUID and we kept the IP and everything the same. Don't want two machines on the network with the same IP address. So Alice is down. So now I've got my VM ready to log in. I'm just going to log into it, check out looks, and then if we're happy, we can um, promote this to production, which will finalise the migration over. So the VM did one final reboot as part of its um, migration over. I'm going to log in as my domain admin. Let's 
looking like it's online, I'll check a couple of things that I want to make sure are working and then I'm happy to finish the uh, promote the migration and finalise the migration over to Hyper-V from VMware. So the background's loaded, that's good. Just check Active Directory. Make sure it's up and running and I can see some of the users and then I'll, I'll be happy that that's moved over properly. We can see my groups, we can see users. Yep, happy with that. So let's go ahead and finalize that. As we can see, it's waiting for user interaction. So I've got Alice here in my instant recovery. I could even stop publishing now that I've sort of tested the failback. But what I actually want to do is finalize that migration to production. And now that's starting to restore and we are 1% done. Just want to show us that's restoring. Um, we are now 5% done. The machine is still fully active from our instant recovery. As that restores over, the machine is still online, still available. And my vCenter machine is still shut down. So we're literally migrating now from our backup storage over to the production storage whilst the machine is still live. And now we have the restore complete successfully. That's all up, all restored and happily running on Hyper-V. And we can see the entire duration of that was 12 minutes 44. I uh, took a bit out of this recording, but you can see within under 15 minutes, a little bit over 10, we fully migrated from VMware to Hyper-V on my home now, which isn't the fastest machine. I just wanted to show how quickly and easy that could be done. Uh, just to give you a bit of uh, additional, in the back of the infrastructure, I've got my um, Hyper Microsoft Hyper-V as a managed server. That's why we could see it there. Uh, and that's about it. vSend has already added in. So thanks for joining. Bye-bye.